Hey friends, what's going on? All right, so we are going to get some art on today. Um, we're going to be using some purple, some uh, Senorita Magenta, and uh, Baja Blue. And um, maybe some black, maybe some white. Actually, I haven't used white yet. I kind of want to see how it works. Um, yeah, it seems I've seen some people do it today and it turned out pretty well. So I've got a couple pre-mixed here that I'm going to use. Um, these ones have uh, these ones have been sitting for a couple days, but I just put the lid on them and they've kept, uh, which is kind of actually awesome. Uh, I've already got some started, so well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I love alcohol inks because it doesn't have to be perfect. Just keep working with it and you will get something you like. The fumes, the fumes. <laughs> so, one of the ways that we can get the layers just with one the one application. We just keep pushing it back and forth and we let it dry. And see this line here where the pigment's bunching up? We don't let that push to the side. And let's toss that Baja Blue in and then from there we'll kind of assess and see what we've got and try to think through the coolest things we could do with what, with what we've got so far. That is such a cool color. so pretty to watch the wind kind of ripple over this whole thing. See that right there? That's really pretty awesome. So once we kind of get these base layers down, I kind of got this idea. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work. Um, but I'd like to get the edges less uh, saturated and kind of push the color towards the middle. And so we'll have kind of light washes on the side. And we'll have the darker bidness right in the middle.
I got a little bubble in here. Better. All right. Huh, cool. I used to worry so much up front. Oops, well, doesn't matter. It's not gonna be there later. Okay. Oh my goodness, gotta sneeze, gotta sneeze. Ah. Okay, I'm done. No sneeze. <sighs> okay, now for the darker Baja blue. We kinda got a purple because our blue and our, you know, which is all good. But, yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. That's so satisfying, a color right there. I love that. So beautiful. And then here's our Senora Magenta. Hmm. I don't like this Upo quite as much. This is some other stuff I bought off of Amazon. Um, I don't like it quite as much. It doesn't work quite as well as my uh, 5x7 do it on Upo pad, and it's not as good as this. Oh, dude! Guys, I have Jerry's Artorama right down the road from me. How cool is that? I know, like, super cool. But I'm kind of curious on what this white's gonna do. Well, that's awesome. Whoa, dude, it's like pretty sweet and stuff. Whoa, I actually really like this. Kind of takes a second to kind of develop and decide what it really wants to do. That's cool. Okay. You know what? I already started that over here. Might as well do the other magenta. One thing I have noticed, the difference between these jacquard, this is a jacquard, and am I using any? I think I said I might want to use this purple. This purple is uh, is Ranger Inks by Tim Holes, and it's not quite as um, solid. It's more runny, more viscous. Viscous, that's a big word. But it's more of that. Um... So, let me see. Let me get one of my, yeah, this bowl's cleanish. Yeah, this bowl's clean. I'm gonna pour some rubbing alcohol in our clean bowl. And I think I wanna try brushing on maybe some lines, some enforcing lines, cause we've kind of got, I tried to build something that was gonna kind of feel like it expands into the rest. So maybe if we like drew some enforcing lines with uh, the rubbing alcohol in between these separate places. And this is just a thin one. Um, it's got, it'll hold quite a bit of rubbing alcohol, but 
we're gonna, sorry, I'm allergic to something. I know I'm sniffling. Uh, but, And you know what I've noticed? It doesn't entirely matter if there's a little bit of pigment in your water. You can still, in your water, in your rubbing alcohol, you can just straight up paint anyway. This one's going to be interesting. I want to do some of these lines to make it feel like it's going behind it, but I'm not entirely sure if it will allow me to. The reason why I say that is because the alcohol is going to break down the sides of this. So I want it to feel like it's going behind without actually going behind. I like these subtler, thinner lines. They'll continue to break down, but I like these subtle, thinner lines. So I'm going to retrace some of these and just make them thinner. Just use the brush tip instead of the... All right, let's get us some other lines up in this piece. So now this will be the...
Trying to get this edge. And then there's a little bit of pigment in this jar. I'm gonna see if I can't pick up a little bit of pigment here and just brush it down into this bottom thing right here. And up some more of this magenta pigment here while we do our lines. What does it need now? I think it needs this wiped off. Well, at least lightened, maybe not wiped off. Let's do our thing where we find a cleanish spot on the paper and we decide what we don't like, then come in and dip it in our rubbing alcohol, and then we just dab, 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 roux until it's a little bit gone. It would just dab a little bit like this, and then it gives us a texture in our, uh, in the place that we erased, and it kind of just kind of replaces it with something that we might enjoy a little bit more. Same thing with down here. I didn't really care for this quite as much as I thought I might. I'll leave the purple ones in there, but and I just didn't like it as much as I thought I might. So out they come. This is kind of an interesting texture, the way that it's coming. Here, I'm going to pull it up. Kind of do enjoy that texture. So we'll see how that dries. If it dries as well as uh, it looks like it might. But I'm 
trying to blend these two in right now because I think this is kind of cool how it comes up here, but I think it'd be even better if they connected right here and started to go up around but did not. And then this gets pulled back down around. So it almost has like a little bit of a framing thing. We'll see if it works. I, well, I'm sure it's going to work, but we'll see how it looks after we're done working it. <laughs> Let's turn this around. I really like working on the side that's closer to me. Stop it. See how this works. I'm trying to soften some of these edges and make it more streaky. Get my streak on, you know. Actually, I like that. We're going to do more of that. So my wife has been away on, uh, she sells LuLaRoe and uh, it's really, she loves it. But she's been away on a leaders meeting this, these last uh, couple days. And so it's just been me my boys at the in-laws house and it would have been brutal if I didn't love my in-laws but my in-laws are amazing yeah so she's been away and having fun and so I keep hearing car doors shut and I keep wondering is that my wife is she coming back because I'm sure she's coming back. I just have no idea when that back time is going to be. 
And I don't want to bother her because she's doing all kinds of fun, girly things with her friends. And so I'm like, eh, eh, fine. Just leave her be. It'll be fine. So, you know what? I'm not sure how long this video has been going on so far, but if you're still watching, I appreciate you. One thing I was thinking about, I was like, why... Why do some people like acrylic pouring better than this? Because I think this is just fun every which way, but there's not that same magical moment of drama. You know, you pour all the cups, there's build up, you, you uh, mix all the colors, you talk about it, you're so excited what could happen, what could be. And um, with alcohol links, it's a steady build. Sometimes you get immediate wow results, but sometimes, sometimes you don't. And sometimes it's just pretty cool all the way through. And sometimes it's boring right up until the end where it just, when you're, there's something you're like, that's it, we'll screwed right up until the end before it just turns awesome. You kind of don't know when that uh, excuse me, it's kind of a, a slow build. So yeah, I was trying to figure it out and I'll get back to acrylic pouring too. I'm not by, done by any means. I, I still love acrylic pouring. I still find it really fun. Um, I just don't have any of my stuff with me. And so I shouldn't have asked my wife to follow up. She's the one that it's under her name. So uh, actually she could be moving somewhere else without me and I would never know. Except I'm at her mom's house. Ooh, that's pretty. Check that out. Anyway. <laughs> Get my little dab on right here. I think that bigger area worked better with the streaks, but this little area is... I'm pretty sure I'd end up washing away color if I tried that. Right now I'm only trying to dapple. Right there, it's turning out pretty all right. What do you think? All right. And so, would you guys let me know, actually, in the comments, if you like acrylic pouring better? I'd love to hear what you think. If you think acrylic pour, pouring is better, or if you think maybe just some people are being loud, maybe some people um, don't speak for the whole group, and well, of course they don't, but maybe some people um, are just the, the louder voice or the people that, that's, that are the first to speak up. What do you like better, acrylic pouring or alcohol inks? And really, no matter what you say, I will not have my feelings hurt because um, I do understand they're entirely different animals. Okay. And now let's get this thing. I saw some foam dabbers that I actually might look into picking up. I think they might work better than than just a foam, uh, than a folded up paper towel.
Okay. Spots of purple. All right, I'm gonna try something brave and if it screws everything up, mm, then it happens. I'm just kind of like, let that sit. And see what it does. I did notice the other day, I don't have a coral color. And I really like coral. So yeah, I need me some coral. All right. I'm gonna let those sit. See what it comes up with. Hmm. All right, let's look. Composition. Mm -hmm. You know what? Okay, this is the last thing, I promise. Just dabbing some of this white that I picked up. Some of this white was running off the page, and so I thought I'd pick it up and see what what it looks like. Just dabbled a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's more white to pick up. I wanted more. I didn't want to put more on the page. Yet there's already some there. So. that texture. I think white's going to be making its way into more of my my inkings. Oops. Oh shoot. I just did that. And it is what it is. I like it. Which is probably good because it's going to be what it is whether or not I like it. Trying to get a little bit better blend here. All right, 
guys, thank you for watching. I had fun. I hope you had fun too. I'm trying to see what we can make. Let's get you a little bit closer. Hmm. That's actually really cool. I accidentally brushed the paper towel against it. This is the texture I was talking about that was really cool. It's almost got depth to it. You know what? This looks like coral-ish. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. You are the best. You know what? We have, uh, sorry if I was just blinding you with the light. We have some awesome sponsors. Stephanie and Stephanie B and uh, uh, Linda and Karen Bot from Octopunks. Guys, thank you so much. Without you, I couldn't do these videos. It's It just wouldn't be possible. So I appreciate you and you're awesome. And you're a part of this creation because you helped me make this. I have making this possible. Anyway, uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. I mean, if you don't like the future stuff that comes out, you can always unsubscribe later. All right, guys, you're the best. Bye-bye.